do want to call your attention tonight to a very important subject. Something that the seemingly, as time progresses, and as innovations occur in our lives, and as technology is ever increasing, as our young people are becoming with a lot of knowledge, it behooves me to just pause just for a moment and to go back to the foundation in which this church and sanctification was established. It was many years ago that Mother Tate saw fit to put into our decree book, page 64, that says we believe and do firmly preach that the Bible evidence of receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire is speaking with tongues as the Spirit of God giveth utterance as it was on the day of Pentecost. And she went down a little further into page 64 and wanted us to know that wherefore tongues are for a sign not to them that believe, but to them that believe not. And she bear witness from the words of Paul in uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 22. And she went on to say that the church needs to understand that we are glorified and made wholly sanctified by receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost and fire. Bishop, why do you keep saying and fire? The reason I keep saying fire with the Holy Ghost when I was 10 years old in the city of Fort Lauderdale, I was sitting on this side of the church and I heard the word of God and the word of God pricked my heart. And, and when I heard the word and I believed the word and I began to praise God, something came on the inside of me. Amen. As a 10-year-old, something began to stir up little Kenny. And then before I know it, um, I was ready from that side of the wall to that side of the wall. And the reason I can identify with Jeremiah, as he said, is like fire. Shut up in my bones because that even Deacon Foster could not hold me down. Hallelujah. Even uh, the deacons went and tried to restrain me because, honey, I was wounded it on because something on the inside was bubbling up on the outside. I wish I had some witnesses that made a change in my life. Amen. It's something about the Holy Ghost. Amen. And fire. Hey, we come to a time where this generation now don't want 
of the manifestation of the Holy Ghost started in Genesis. Genesis 1 and 26. And it says, let us. Who is us? When God said, let us, he was telling us that he was not by himself. Amen. was 
And that comfort to help is going to do what? Lead you. It's going to guide you into all truth. Huh?
here. Come here. 